Hello, I'm Graham Steele, CEO and co-founder of CryptoSense. And today I'm going to talk about CVE 2020-0601, or a bit more easily understandable, the elliptic curve bug that was patched in Microsoft Patch Tuesday this month, January 2020. CVEs, so the common vulnerability enumeration bugs, are patched every month by Microsoft, but this one made a lot more noise than normal for a number of reasons. So one reason is the bug was actually found and reported by the NSA. So that's very unusual. Uh, it may even be the first of its kind. Uh, and the other was that it was quite a subtle and interesting bug in cryptography that had really serious consequences. So it could allow people to send spoofed code updates, so malicious code updates to uh, a Microsoft system, so any Windows system pretty much, uh, and then get your own their own malicious code installed as, as a legit software update. So it's something you really want to patch. So how exactly did it work? Well, there's quite a lot of understanding of how elliptic curve signatures work necessary to really understand the maths of what's going on. But basically what was happening is that it was possible to convince the verification part of the Microsoft code that you had a legitimate code signing certificate based on a signature for a different certificate. And you did that by playing around with some of the parameters of the elliptic curve that you were specifying to make it look similar but crucially a bit different from the exact curve that was used in the legitimate certificate. And that gave you the way of creating your own cert that you could use to sign malicious code. If you want to see the maths uh, details and understand more, it's very similar to what was proposed in an academic paper way back in 2004 by a cryptographer professor called Serge Vaudenay, who is at uh, the University, the Polytechnic University of Lausanne in Switzerland. Uh, and he's well known for other similar attacks that came out that time in the early 2000s. It's quite interesting to see that these things are still very relevant and working uh, 16 years later. You can also read uh, the whole way of doing the attack in a single tweet by a guy called uh, Cass Kramers, who is a researcher in a institute in Germany. Uh, also a very good table football player. I advise you not to challenge him at that. Uh, but what does this mean? So this means you should certainly patch your Microsoft code. Uh, but how could we avoid this kind of issue in the future? So. Uh, two weeks ago, I was at a very interesting meeting in New York called HACS, so it's the High Assurance uh, Cryptography Workshop. And this workshop is all about how to verify using formal tools that a cryptography library is really doing what it's supposed to do, so that when it says it's verifying a signature on an elliptic curve, there's no way for an attacker to toy with the parameters and come up with some kind of exploit. Also, we want to verify that there are no side channels or other ways to exploit the code. So this workshop's been running for a few years now, and the fruits of that work are starting to become publicly available in verified crypto libraries that have already started to be integrated into widely used software, for example, into the Firefox browser. So this is a way to an interesting new world where we don't have these kind of bugs in critical components such as uh, cryptography libraries, and those Cryptography libraries are public and widely available, and we can all use them. Just as a reminder, uh, research into CVEs related to cryptography shows that only 17% of bugs are in cryptography libraries. 83% of cryptography issues come from applications misusing cryptography libraries in some way. So we've still got to look out for that. That's really the area that needs attention is how those applications are behaving with their crypto libraries, the kind of things that we find with our analyzer tool here at CryptoSense.